patience They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do Hello everybody and welcome to the highlights of this first one day between Afghanistan and also Ireland coming to you live from Sharjah. Now the test match of course was won by Ireland which was a bit of a surprise. Afghanistan will be very determined to make sure they play well in the one day series. Now climbing up and the toss was won by Ireland and they decided to bowl first. Now, if we have a look at the two teams starting with Afghanistan straight away the big excitement was uh, Gazafa playing in the game. He's the 16 year old so that's very exciting. He's a mystery spinner so we'll have to watch out a little bit for him and for Ireland well it's pretty much a standard lineup for them with a couple of guys who didn't play in the test series obviously looking forward to have a run in the white ball game. Righto time to join our commentators with the action. Squirted away back with a point. That'll be the first boundary, full in length. And Ibrahim Zadran just opening the face of the bat and finding the gap between backward point and cover. Successive boundaries. Adair correcting his line, going straighter. And Zadran whipping that one aerially through the onside, but he found the gap. That's Gerbaz at his best. Slashing that ball away. Backward a point. It's his first boundary. And he's got himself moving. Six. What a shot that was by Ibrahim Zadran. A little bit of width from Mark Adair. And Zadran deliberately hitting the ball up. Goes for the big shot. Great connection. A flat six from Gurbaz and it's 50 up for Afghanistan as well. Nailed that beautifully for six runs. That's a great way to start the over. And that's beautifully played. It's a lovely shot. All on the cup of the four. It's a nice shot of drive. Well, down the ground, chipped. What a beautiful shot. Fifty. Beautiful. Really, really well cultured half century from Ibrahim Zadran. It's his seventh in ODI cricket. And the alarm bells will start ringing if you're an Ireland fan because he generally turns them into hundreds. I'll bet not by you. 50. Ramadan Gurbaz joins Ibrahim Zadran past the milestone. It's his fourth to go with 500s in one day international cricket. These two are outstanding together. That's a lovely touch. That is a gorgeous cricket shot. Batter, what a lovely hard sweep that is. Now, Tino, now we're seeing the expansive nature. He's past 50. He's past 50, Nile. Lovely, beautiful shot. Well, six runs dropped in the dugout. But well, that's a really good shot from Gerbaz. And now, Arla will fear the worst. One bounce four. That really is impressive. No chance for Van Wilkom to settle into this new spell. Straight away, Gerbas is on his case. Down the ground. Terrific shot from Gerbas. Four runs. Goodness me, the power here. Yeah! Knocks him over. Fantastic piece of bowling. 
and absolutely essential as far as Ireland were concerned. Van Vorkum has got the wicket. Ibrahim Zadran, the man to go. Well bowled. Started well, the over was getting the ball to turn this time around, turn as well. Skidding up the surface, trying to give a bit of room to himself, too close to the body to carve out the shot through the offside. Ibrahim goes for 60. Down the track, over the top of mid off six. Glorious stroke from Gurbaz. 50th six for Gurbaz in one day internationals. That was just brutal. There's no other word to describe that. Short pull and pulled. He gets into the gap on the onside. Another boundary. Gurbaz into the 90s. Delicate late cut. The single that brings the 100, a leap in the air from Ramanullah Gurbaz. It's his sixth one day international 100 for Afghanistan. That equals the record for his country in this form of the game. He's level now with Mohammed Shahzad. A fine innings appreciated by the crowd here in Sharjah. And what a platform he's given his side. A magnificent hundred. Played some pretty shots. Just waiting till the last moment. Just guiding the ball into gap. Jubilation. Punching the air in delight. A delightful news for fans back in Afghanistan. He has transformed himself as a consistent batsman now. Just like that, it's high in the air and should be a maximum. Brilliant batting, just toying with the field as Gurbaz, he's played that off the back foot. That's the answer from Ramanullah Gurbaz. Almost onto the road, a monster. Six of the moment at left the bat. This is back to back maximum. Another one off the bat of Ramanullah Gurbaz. 200 up for Afghanistan, 205 now. Man at long on. Takes the catch, it's another for Van Werkham. Yeah, Werkham bowling this fuller Asmatullah Omar Zai, who's not been able to find the middle of the bat. Camper attacks the cage. This will give some relief to Camper, maybe a little late, but whatever. Asmatullah Omar Zai departs after making 19 of 20 balls. Afghanistan are 207 for two. Oh, he's bowled him! This is another wicket in the over. This has been really, really an amazing spell that unfortunately comes to an end. He should well and could well have had this man dismissed on seven. Instead, Curtis Camper put down the catch. Might not be the last laugh, but he does have his revenge. And Gerbaz walks back after a quite marvellous innings. Their career best figures for Van Werkham. He's got three for 55. Gerbaz goes for one, two, one. Two, one, two for three. We've seen Mohammed Nabi. He can hit big. Has he mistimed that? Has he? The fielder underneath it. And he takes that. Rahmat Shah couldn't middle it off the middle of the bat. Couldn't clear the fielders inside the circle. How often does it disguise you? The bait that you take, you might well be able to clear the circle. Not this time around. And a big smile on Craig Young's face. This is an excellent catch. Markadair has made this look so easy. Ramacha trying to play a game that's unnatural to him. He's never batted at number five in an ODI before. So his first day at the crease will be ended by that really well judged market air take. Shah's gone for two. It's 216 for four. That's going to help Afghanistan's cause. That's nicely played. Streamed away for a boundary. 
Oh, that's hit beautifully. Is that gone for six? No. Just inside. What a wonderful shot that is from Nabi. Oh, that was straight back at him. It's the good old-fashioned bowler killer, that one. Straight back past his uh, shins for four. That's clever. Very clever indeed. Backing away, playing it nice and late. And rewarded. Leg side, first up, beautifully picked up. That's a great start of the over. Half a dozen, first up. Slow ball, dragged it. Six runs. Six runs it is. Wanted to throw it up, but just a little bit too late. Took the catch, was thinking about trying to get rid of it, but just couldn't. Slow ball again, that's uh, hit nice and straight, and that's gone for four. That's going to add insult to injury. Set that straight up in there, should be caught and bowled by Hume. Should be taken quite comfortably. It is in the end. He was under for some time. Well, that reaction says it all. Leave it to the keeper. Big fast bowler and his follow through. It's a low full toss. Graham Hume, I'm telling you what, next time just leave it to Lorca Tucker. He's got two gloves for a reason. Well, it's a low full toss and Muhammad Nabi will be gutted. He's trying to be quite delicate. He's trying to be cute. If he had his time again, Muhammad Nabi, I reckon he's going to pump that one out of the ground. Good catch. Good reward for Graham Hume. Nice from Nabi. Go for 40. Afghanistan 287 for five. That's cracked away. And it's going to go for four. Hard down the ground. There's no one down there. That's uh, also gone. Six runs. Pick that up. It's in the slots. Six runs. Can't miss out on those sort of gifts. And he picks that up nicely. That's nicely done. Goes for four. 50 up as well of just 32 balls. Nicely played. Fastest half century of the captain's career. 20th 50 in the ODI arena. And that is Ireland's target. 311, 50 overs they've got. 6.22 runs per over. Not a bad delivery first up. Found the inside quarter of that bat, I think. Oh, it's gone past the outside edge. No, it's nicked it. And up goes that finger. Sterling's not going anywhere. The little shake of the head from Sterling. He doesn't think he nicked that. He's not happy, but Afghanistan are. Oh, it's very close. It's very close. Very difficult to tell, though, if he did get the outside edge. No DRS, of course. But he has to go the captain for five. It's ten for one. That's cracked. That's a nice shot. That's right out of the screws. That'll help him. That's his first boundary. Bowled him. That is a beauty. That has just come back enough and hit that off stump quite hard. And eventually, he's got one to go past the bat and crash into the stumps. Sixteen for one becomes sixteen for two. Andy Balburni goes for four. It's a lovely shot from Tech to. Yes, 
That's nice. A little bit of width. Carves it away square on the offside for four. Tech to dealing in boundaries at the moment. That's three for him. Oh, another wicket too. Well bowled. And again the angle from round the wicket has done for an island batter. It's Curtis Camper this time. I think trigonometry angles left arm around the wicket you're trying to hit the ball through extra cover it doesn't work Fazil Hack says yes please you ripper through the gate Curtis Camper the latest to go Ireland are in real trouble 34 for 3 that'll do that's a great shot loose ball Oh, that sloppy fielding. Muhammad Nabi not able to stop this and that runs down to the boundary. Slug sweep, risk taken and reward given to Lorcan Tucker. Fifty up for Tector. That's his twelfth one international fifty. His first first against Afghanistan. He also has kicked on and got four hundreds. And Ireland need that today. He's played beautifully so far. Good connection. Nicely played. A couple of bounces and that goes for four. That's a good start to the over. I think he has decided that's the case. He's a good player. He can do it. One bounce and that's gone for four. Two boundaries in a row. Oh, that's six. Goodness me, that's made a lovely sound off the bat, and it's 50 to Tucker. Fourth 50 in one day international cricket. Crunched over mid wicket for six. Much needed boundary for Ireland. Down towards long off, and it's gone for four. Short this time, and pulled away with real power for six. Tector moves into the 90s, and Ireland very much in this contest. It's 197 for three. Is picked up into the leg side. Sorry, Doctor. One bounce. It's going to be four. And this partnership is growing from strength to strength. It's four more. Big appeal and given. Tucker has a look down at his bat and he can't quite believe he's been given out but the fingers gone up and the partnership has been broken it was worth 173 and this was a big wicket you can see there just a feather of an outside edge the keeper immediately knew as did Fazal Akfaruki and when the finger went up it meant that Lorcan Tucker has to depart he's gone for 85 Ireland 207 for four calls for two he's going to come back this is the moment for Harry Tector it's a fifth one day international century for the man who is setting new levels with the bat for Ireland he can add Afghanistan to a list of New Zealand Bangladesh and Zimbabwe it's been as good as any of them look at those numbers a career average over 50 as good as maybe we've ever seen in the green of Ireland Yeah, deep man. That's a hell of a catch, I tell you what. That is a beauty. You won't see a better catch all series. He's been out in the middle as a substitute fielder and takes a blinder. The ball was dropping on him. He put the hands behind it and made sure that stays inside his hands. The two players that have played the under-19 World Cup together, Nangyal Kharotai and Nurama taking the wicket. George Dockley departs off to making five. Ireland are 223 for five. Brilliant! What a ball! What 
it's an over. Mark Adair has been done. Neck and crop. He bowled one perfect into the channel. Mark Adair has no answer to this. Fazalak Farooqi looks pumped up. He's bowled brilliantly today. He's got four wickets to his name. What a night he's had. Mark Adair departs after making four Ireland or 247 for six. That another wicket. Yes, Matt Bryan departs. Asmatullah Omar Zai doing the damage alongside Fazalak Farooqi. Pace on, seam up, McBrien flipping it, nowhere near the middle. Looked like he's trying to place it as opposed to hit it for six, and McBrien, it was brief, gone for a duck. 249 for seven. Well, thick outside edge, third is inside the ring. Graham Hume won't care a jot. No timing, that's a shot of fatigue, and that will be the end of Harry Tector. Other than that, he's done a really nice job. Problem was, there was no one else that stayed alongside him to give him company. Gulwadeen Naib taking the wicket. Mohammed Nabi safe hands, 138 brilliant innings. Iron end of 271 for eight. Well, toe of the bat off the final ball, and it's a slow ball. What else from Gulbadin? Afghanistan have triumphed here in the first ODI charger by a fairly comfortable 35 run margin in the end. Didn't have it all the wrong way. Ireland fought for large parts of the game with the first win for Afghanistan after five consecutive defeats. Well, it's just too many runs, really, from Afghanistan. 310 is a lot of runs. At one stage, it looked like they were going to get there, but then a good finish got them that total. So that was terrific. Abaz was outstanding with his 600. Van Wilken picked up 355, and uh, Hasmatullah with his 50 off 33 was really important. That knock was uh, special from him. And Ireland in reply, 275 for eight it was. Tector was absolutely sensational. 138 for 147 balls, but on the losing side, which is disappointing for him. Tucker, 85. Faruqi, 4 for 51. So magnificent work from uh, Faruqi. And Afghanistan won by 35 runs and lead the series 1-0. And the man of the match, the player of the match was Gabaz with 121 off 117. So it was a terrific opening stand of 150 as well for Afghanistan, which put him very much on the track for victory. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the highlights. We'll catch you next time. Good night.